Welcome to week five. You have 35 weeks to go. This week, your poppy seed sized baby has grown to about the size of an apple seed. While nine months seems like a short time, everything from major organs to fingernails needs to develop from scratch, and there's a lot going on in your belly. The cluster of cells that will become your baby's heart has already formed, and this week the heart begins to divide into chambers and beat and pump blood. Your baby looks more like a tadpole right now, and they're rapidly growing. While all the groundwork is being laid for the major organs to form, the brain and spinal cord are also beginning to develop. By now, you should have missed your period. That's one of the more obvious indications that you're pregnant. A home pregnancy test can confirm what you may already suspect, that you're having a baby. While you should be able to verify that you're pregnant this week, it's still going to be a little while before anyone would be able to tell. So enjoy fitting into your favorite jeans while you can. As tempting as it may be, you may not want to run out and tell everyone that you're pregnant immediately. While I don't want to alarm you, miscarriage is more common than you may realize. Rates of miscarriage are very confusing, but the most widely accepted statistic is that 10 to 15% of clinically recognized pregnancies result in a loss. According to the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, early pregnancy loss is common, occurring in 10% of all clinically recognized pregnancies. Approximately 80% of all cases of pregnancy loss occur within the first trimester. And that's why a lot of people wait until 12 weeks to make a public announcement. It's common to have some anxiety about the possibility of miscarrying. Especially early on, you might have some signs or symptoms of pregnancy, but you don't look pregnant yet and you can't feel your baby moving or kicking. When you do start spreading the news, you don't necessarily have to tell everyone at once. Maybe you let a few friends in on it and then break it to everyone else at the 12 week mark. Maybe you even wait longer to share the news at work. Bottom line, announce your pregnancy when you're comfortable. Growing a tiny human can be exhausting and you might feel very wiped out at the end of the day. Fatigue is so prevalent during pregnancy, especially in the first and third trimesters. This is primarily due to increased levels of progesterone. In addition, your body's increasing blood volume, your blood pressure is lower, you're increasing your metabolism, and you lower your blood sugar. Your body's going through a lot of changes, and all of those take energy. If you're tired, the best thing you can do is rest, take a nap, or go to bed earlier than usual. It's a good idea to look at your health insurance so that you can minimize costs and ensure that you're covered. You also may be eligible for tax-advantaged accounts to pay for qualified medical expenses. If you're not in a financial position to obtain insurance or to utilize tax-advantaged accounts, you may be able to get assistance with coverage. This is an excellent time to start thinking about what type of birth you want and whom you would like as your care provider. While hospitals are the most common venue for birth in the United States, you may also consider a birth center or a home birth. If you had a previous cesarean, you may be considering a VBAC or a vaginal birth after cesarean. Depending on your insurance and the birth you want, you may have access to a doctor or a midwife. The more you learn, the more options you have. A tip for dads and partners, your wife, girlfriend, or partner is going to have to cut out any significant bad habits as soon as they find out they're pregnant. So try to be as supportive as possible. A perk for you is that you're getting a designated driver for the next nine months, but don't take that as a license to go party every weekend. Make sure that you're planning nights that don't involve alcohol so your significant other doesn't feel left out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for your support.